guys, hope your week's going well. I've um, got a few things to talk about today, but before we do that, uh, we should probably uh, have, taste a beer. Uh, now, I've already poured up this beer here, and it is none other than a beer from Grant Baker. It says Hopping Dead 8% double IPA, and it's hot with uh, Mosaic, Chinook, Rewalker, and Nelson Salvin. Um, now, if you follow Carl from Floor Sweepers Union, he tried this uh, very beer, I think it was last week or the week before. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd give it a whirl. So thank you very much for this um, grant. Poured up, beautiful colour. Now it's come off the keg, so poured the uh, entire bottle into here. Beautiful, rich, deep burnt orange um, copper. Some copper going on there. Uh, it's quite hazy. I think it's probably a little bit of chill haze, but um, knowing Grant, he's probably chucked in a whole lot of hops. But it is holding a very nice, um, tight um, cap on the top with some nice creamy bubbles. I don't know if that's showing up, but yeah, there's a closer look at the beer anyway. A little bit of hiss off the bottle, so um, yeah, we'll dive in. Cheers, Grant. Cheers to everyone else. We'll get a, get a nose on it. definitely smell those hops coming through sort of ripe ripe sort of um, citrus fruits what I'm getting off the top and then also it's getting some real nice sweet sweet malt and um, yeah it smells like a bit like sort of biscuit biscuit um, aroma oh that smells really good so we'll dive in nice as another winner from you Grant never had a dud beer um, that is super juicy and um, rich on the on the flavor yeah real soup sort of ripe grapefruit and citrus um, um, and yeah maybe some I'll see if I can pick up like passion fruit from the rewalker. Maybe it's slightly there, but yeah, real. But the citrus is sort of dominating, and I guess that that would dominate the other flavors coming through. Um, but yeah, that is a real cracker. Um, the malts are really nice and rich, biscuity, sweet sort of. Um, caramel and toffee um, bitterness is quite um, assertive yeah, if I had to guess I'd say it's um, it's getting up there into the sort of uh, sort of close to 100, 100 IBUs um, but yeah that is really really nice um, carbonation is quite low which is good dry back end as well. I might let this warm up a little bit more and um, then come back to it and I'll just talk about what else has been going on. So behind me you can't see it but I've just bottled up the uh, Yakima Scarlet kit from Chris at Grain to Glass so hopefully so well, it's been bot bottled up a week ago so hopefully next week I can do a taste test of that and I'm going to add it to the brew day footage to do a Grain to Glass. Um, you may have spotted this t-shirt which I just won from um, Gladfield Malt so what does it say craft beer craft malt hashtag love Gladfield so yeah it's very cool so that arrived uh, yesterday and then it's got their not really good at doing the old reverse shot but it's got, got their website and logo on the back so thank you very much um, Gladfield if you're watching um, always good to have uh, well, you can never, as you guys know, you can never have enough beer or brewing t-shirts, so that is very good. And probably the other main thing is on the weekend, um, 
I was fortunate, fortunate enough to go along to a homebrew competition with uh, Carl from Floor Sweepers Union. Uh, we went along to the uh, Western Brewers Conference. Um, they had a dry stout competition, uh, judged to BJCP uh, guidelines, and that was held over at Urban Orts Brewery. So there were 25 entries. Um, don't really get to see much in the way of the beers, the entries, etc., because they were all taken off into another room and they had the judges um, judging, judging those beers up. Um, yeah, didn't didn't come anywhere, um, sort of middle of the road, um, but I sort of knew beforehand that um, my chances of coming anywhere were quite slim because my dry stout finished quite high. It finished at 10.20, um, hoping to get it down to sort of like around 10, 10, 12. So yeah, unfortunately that meant the ABV was quite low. I think it came out at 3.2%. Uh, they did say it was a good attempt at the style, but um, yeah, just with that lower or that that higher finishing um, gravity, and it started quite low as well. So yeah, sort of ended up yeah, like they said, thin and watery. But it was a very good experience. But I did get some footage, just yeah, a little bit of footage um, while we were there. So what I'll do is I'll cut over to that, and then we'll come back and we'll. Uh, yeah, just have a few more sips of Grant's beer, so see you soon. Cheers. So over here we've got the judges. They're currently judging all the beers. Got the guys over here doing the serving, and then we've got the judges over there by the windows there. Just swing around. So yeah, this is Urban Orts out at Kingsland. If you haven't been out and you live in Auckland, definitely stop by. All the fantastic fermenters here. I think they're uh, 2400 litres, the big ones. So you can pick that up. So we've got the old blow-off tube into the bucket there. Gangbusters. Over here we've got the, uh, the bar area. Serve up all the beers. In your fridge. All the guys that are entered in the comp. Hey guys, we're at the uh, Urban Orts for the Dry Stout competition, and I've got Bradley here who's added a, entered a Dry Stout beer into the comp. Um, dry Stout? Yeah, and I've tasted it, it's very nice indeed. And uh, Bradley um, came up and said that he's been sub to my channel for. Yeah, yeah, is it? Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, so that's good to know. Thank you, Bradley. Standing at my hero. Yeah, I hope you enjoy the content. <laughs> yeah, we'll make Cheers, guys. Yeah. Cheers, Bradley. Thanks yeah. for watching. Wait, no, oh, no, nice. hey. very good, Steve. <laughs> he only carved it up yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. nice. The late carving was the uh, <laughs> secret. <laughs> Oh, you won? Nice. Oh, nice. Yeah. The man in toes is gone. Yeah. Wow, very cool. Yeah, somehow I'm biggest critic. Fuck it up. Nice. Yeah. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that footage from Urban Orts. Um, yeah, fantastic day. Probably the best thing about it was we got to, so we, we entered a dry stout for the judges, but we also bought another bottle, so all the guys that entered beers, we could, you know, swap beers around. Um, so that was fantastic, and also it was a great opportunity to meet um, a lot of other uh, local home brewers within Auckland who I'd never met before.
yeah, cheers to all the guys that were there and uh, cheers to the organisers, uh, Peter Smith and the judges, etc. Um, it was a really good afternoon, so I think uh, everyone enjoyed it. So cheers to you all. And uh, yeah, let's go for another, another sip of Grant's beer. At 8% I won't be uh, drinking the whole thing on camera. was good. I guess what I like apart from the real sort of punchy fresh ripe juiciness of the hops um, it's got a real nice malt uh, backbone to it yeah like I say real nice um, biscuit and toffee uh, caramel um, sort of go with those hops um, yeah it's just a really good beer it's got a really nice body on it probably a good medium body um, so yeah that's fantastic Grant hopefully you can see that but cracking lacing as well okay guys I will stop there video is getting close to 10 minutes so we'll catch you um, either another beer review from one of the uh, beer mails or I'll do one of my own grander glasses so thanks for watching we'll catch you then cheers <laughs>